Guys, send Goku Inferno is out. I'm gonna try and spin for it. Today I got hella codes for you guys, so that's gonna be a very epic. First, here's a time lapse of me spinning 759 times, so enjoy that one. Guys, that was like half an hour. Okay, let's see what we got. Hopefully, hopefully. No, we did not get the best one. I did, however, get Kagoku. So uh, that is insane. And I will absolutely try to use that and level that up. What else did we get? Let's see. So I already had Doku Tengoku. I did not get that this time. However, Banka Inferno, I already fully maxed out, I think, if I remember correctly. Then, did we get anything else of interest? By the way, guys, it's not too late for us to get Sengoku Inferno because we do have a few more codes that will give us spins, which is what this video is about. So, uh, let's scroll up. Let's see if we got anything else of interest. Does not seem like it. So I already had Boromaki and Kamaki. Yeah, I think that was basically everything of interest, guys. Okay, before we get into the codes, you guys need to do something very important. Otherwise, these codes will not work. And that is subscribe to the It's Bear channel, which you, of course, do by clicking the button down below. That way you become part of Team Bear and you lower the percentage of people that are not subscribed to this channel, which is very high, 90%. And that kind of hurts my feelings. So press that button and that way the codes will work for you. That being said, here's the first code, which is Spoodermon. Exclamation mark. So if that doesn't work, make sure to check the video date because some of these codes do get outdated very quickly. This is a stat reset, by the way. Just type it like this and it should work. You don't have to press enter or anything. Next code. Rail 2020 year. And then an exclamation mark. Full caps rail, by the way. Then we have rail sub exclamation mark. Full caps rail again. These codes don't work for me right now because I already entered them. Then we have two years dev exclamation mark. So just type it like, like it says over here. Capital Y, capital capital D exclamation mark at the end. Don't forget that. And uh, that should give you 100 free spins. Then we have a longer one that gives you hella cash, which has been some time, boy. Capital B, capital S, capital C, and capital B again, and then an exclamation mark for 6 million Rio. Then we have more XP, but spelled kind of weirdly. So just take a look at how it's spelled here. Uh, this should also be in the description. I like that it should work. I don't think you have to enter an exclamation mark for this, but just do it to be sure if it doesn't work. But yeah, that's the code. Then we have real divine exclamation mark. So full caps real and then divine like it says on screen right now. And then the exclamation mark. Don't forget about that one. That should give you 5k rel coins. Then we have 2022 is here. Full caps here, capital I. And don't forget the exclamation mark again. And that should give you 200 free spins. Easy. Then we have new beginnings, exclamation mark, full caps, capital N, capital B. That's about it, exclamation mark. And that gives you another 200 free spins. And now we're going to get into some codes that I have not entered yet. Uh, two, in fact. So let's do this. First one that is new is 10 sen and then an exclamation mark. And that should give you 120 free spins. And then the final code for today and also a new one, Tensa Sen Goku, capital T, capital S. And now when I enter the exclamation mark, it's going to work as you see over here. Boom. And that gave me another 120 free spins. So that being said, we have 240 spins. Should I should I spin those away right now? Oh, why not? This time I'm not going to make a time lapse. I'm just going to spin and uh, we'll see what I get when I'm back. All right. Uh, yeah, no look on my end, guys. Let me know if you got it. But those codes should at least help you get Sengoku Inferno. So let's see if that was worth it. Also, if you weren't subscribed yet, what are you doing? Join Team Bear right now. And that way you get Sengoku Inferno for sure if you have not been spinning. So pretty good deal if you ask me. Also, I got three more spins. So uh, should, I, should I really? I'll spin. I'll spin three more times. Why not? Ice, garbage, crystal, garbage, ice again, garbage. Why? For sure, I thought the gods were with me this time, but no. All right, Kagoku, get the frick on my keys and uh, let's check it out in game. All right, we out here in the world of Shindo. I got stuck there for a second. So I equipped the bloodline. However, I've not leveled it yet. So let's go and uh, do that. I do not have a mode right now, so I don't know who's smart to equip these particular bloodlines. If you guys didn't see my previous 
previous video on Shindo. I highly recommend you check it out. There we went over how to get a tailed beast in Shindo because it was not clear to me and I checked it out and then I shared my knowledge. So I hope that was useful if you have seen it and I hope that's going to be useful if you haven't seen it. But yes, so the Kaguya bloodline is something that I currently want to level. I need level 200 for me to actually get something. I could get a Jiraiya skill, but I don't feel like that's worth it. So we do kind of still need a mode. Okay, there's a training area right over here. I feel like somebody might be cheating. Like, what the heck is that? Oh, I think it's a bug or something. And he just teleported. What? I think we got an exploiter, guys. I couldn't see what his name was. Imagine exploiting in Shindo. Who the hell is it? You can't see his name, though. All right, guys, I am not able to tell what this guy's name is because he obviously did something to disable that, which is smart if you're going to be exploiting. However, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know if there's any way to figure out who this guy is and how he's exploiting, but I don't think I can do much about this. Anyway. Anyway, right, we finally did it. Let's see what we can do. So that exploiter, I don't, uh, yeah, I don't know how to combat that. Also, some people were okay with it because he was killing all the NPCs, so it's beneficial to them. But I don't think that's how things are supposed to be happening in Chindo. Anyway, let's get into my mode and see what we can do over here at the training log. So, boom. I want to find like a quest to do, so I at least have some form of content, right? No, no, no. We don't want to deliver some meal to that dude. I think you're supposed to do the green scrolls. Is that Sakura? What? Let's do this. Also, I'll show you how good Minikaze is, even though I don't really have the thing equipped. I only have the mode, but it's still really good. Check it out, guys. All right, let's do this. So this is the mode movies for Minikaze. Um, trying to get hurt here. There we go. I love that move so much. It's so cool. All right, let's, uh, let's use another move that is really good why did that not work what okay let's try to use this one easy done now let's go over to my next move which is the final move of this one uh, uh i'm trying to oh no he freaking attacks me there we go that's the one i wanted to use so that was the entire quest did that give me a lot of real i don't really know what that gave me huh okay time to defeat some rogue ninjas Okay, guys, we're defeating these freaking ninjas. Let's do this. I should be easily able to take these guys out, right? There we go. We just use that. Let me let them attack me. Use Minikaze. Use the other move of Minikaze to finish the other guy off. And we did it. That's it. So Kagoku is level 80 now. What do I need? I think I need like level 200 for the first ability. Yeah. Ashbone Portal Barrage. I'm pretty excited for that one. So, yeah, what I'm gonna do is uh, do some training on the logs uh, and let's see once we get back. I at least want to show off the first ability of that. All right, done and dusted on my V. I currently have the Kaguya ability or, uh, well, I, I think it's called something else. Kagoku, I think it's called. Anyway, I got the V ability. I'm level 200, so I'm gonna level this off screen, of course, because this seems like a very good uh, ability to have. However, However, first we gotta get a quest so I can show it off properly. I could just do it on training log, but where's the fun in that? So let's go to this group of uh, rogue obelisk assassins. Let's do this. Okay, here we are. Let's check out the first ability. So I'm getting attacked straight away. That's not what I had in mind. So uh, what you do is you open a bunch of portals that attack whoever is nearby. So now let's use uh, this ability. And then we use my Minakaze ability, of course. Oh, wow, they did a stone ninja attack. Okay, I want to see the Kagoku attack once more. So now if I press V, it should just attack everything nearby with portals, which is insane. Okay, it's like an auto-aim ability, basically, which is going to be really good for PvP. I don't know how long the range is exactly, so let's go over that real quick. Actually, never mind that. Let's go over Sengoku Inferno so you guys at least know what the new bloodline looks like. So it's based around meteor strikes and lightning explosives, which is crazy so we have final strike gravity blaze and an ultra counter so the move sets uh well 
read this if you want to. Just pause the video and uh, take a little little read. But I'm just gonna show them off rather than anything. Uh, also, it has three stages, which is like those are my favorite bloodlines that have like many stages. However, it doesn't look like uh, the person that makes the wiki actually has it, so that's very interesting. It's that new. But yes, it is based around like samurai spirits and all that, and uh, you bash the grounds. Yeah, I would assume it's really cool. Sadly, not been able to get my hands on it yet. So I'm gonna level Kagoku off screen a little bit, but that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it for today. By the way, check out the video over there, guys. That's how you get a Teal the Beast in Shindo. So make sure to click that. I made that recently, so check it out. Also, if you're not part of Team Bear, what are you doing? Join Team Bear right now so you can help me get to 100,000 subscribers and that way you don't miss any videos when they come out. So it's like a win-win. Why not do it? Let's go. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.